pretzels so much. To me, pretzels are the perfect snacking bread. I knew it was time to create a sourdough pretzel recipe, and today I'm going to be sharing it with you. These pretzels use a stiff sourdough starter. It'll reduce the sourness of the dough, but of course, you have to prepare the stiff starter around 12 hours before mixing the dough, so be sure to tack that extra time so your starter can hit peak before using it. I also use a baking soda bath instead of a lye bath. It's a little bit safer, you don't have to use gloves, and it's more accessible. As always, you can find the ingredients in the description below. Once your stiff starter has peaked, add to a medium bowl 390 grams of bread flour. To that, add nine grams of salt, 245 grams of water, all of the stiff starter, Forty-five grams of maple syrup or honey. Forty grams of melted butter. Knead the dough for about ten minutes until it's smooth and cohesive. Dust with flour as needed so it doesn't stick to the bench. Cover and let it rise at around 82 degrees Fahrenheit for six to seven hours. Then place it directly in the fridge for an overnight rest. The next morning, Take it out of the fridge, play with the bubbly dough a little bit, and divide it into 12 roughly 80 to 85 gram pieces. Now to get a nice pretzel shape, you want to make sure you're rolling the dough to about 20 to 24 inches long. That does mean that you're going to have to rest the dough in between rolling, so that way it's a little bit easier to roll out. I did an initial roll, and then I set it aside and let it rest for about 30 minutes, after which I rolled it again to about 20 to 24 inches. Once you've got the length of the dough, you wanna shape them into pretzels, put them on a parchment lined tray, cover, and let it rise at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit for another three and a half hours. Once the second rise is complete, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Bring a large pot of water to boil and to that add two tablespoons of baking soda. Fully submerge the pretzels for about 10 to 15 seconds. Pop them on a parchment lined tray and put them in the oven for around 12 to 15 minutes. Brush the pretzels with melted butter while they're still warm and sprinkle with a topping of your choice. For this batch, I did sesame seeds. They were really good, but I also did a second batch with cinnamon sugar and they were amazing. I absolutely love this pretzel recipe. Let me know in the comments if you try it. That's all for now, and happy baking!